includes aluminum, the strong, lightweight, rust-proof metal that does more jobs better. Presents Mr. Peeper. <laughs> Starring Wally Cox. They're here. I've waited three weeks and they've finally come. They're here. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, that's wonderful. What's here? My films. The home movies Marge and I made on our vacation. Oh, that's wonderful. Where are they? Here. Down at the camera store. Yeah. They oh. sent me a card. Dear Mr. Westcott, your films are here. Signed, Schreiber Camera Store, Harry V. Schreiber, President. Mm -hmm. Please. Your films are here. They sent me the card. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rob, can I ask you a very big favor? Why, certainly anything at all. I wonder if you could arrange for me to take the science department's movie projector and screen home tonight. Well, uh, perhaps. You see, I'm not sure I can get permission to, to take them off the school mm -hmm. premises, but I will ask. Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm dying to see these. Yes, I imagine you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey, would you and Nancy like to come over tonight and see the premiere of my movies? Oh, boy. I shall bring the popcorn. <laughs> Just bring yourselves. And don't forget about the projector, huh? No, no. Let, let's you go ask about it, shall we? Already? Here's your coat. No, no. Oh, oh, uh, but... Uh, What's the matter? I forgot to wash my hands. Roger. Okay. You know, these are the first movies I ever took. Really? Isn't that amazing? Yeah. I'm dying to see them. Mm -hmm. Do you suppose Mrs. Gurney would like to come? Oh, she'd love to. I'll sure. invite her. Yes, I followed the instructions right to the letter. Mm -hmm. These should be perfect. Oh, yes. I had a, a friend back home that took pictures of his son every year on his son's birthday. He took them right next to the birthday cake, so you could tell how old he was. Mm -hmm. Clever. He, he wanted to have pictures of his son growing up. So what they did was, on his first birthday, they put one candle on the birthday cake, and his second birthday, they put two candles on the birthday cake. And his fifth birthday, yeah, they put yeah, uh -huh, yeah. birthday uh, candles on the cake, and so on. But after his 28th birthday, then they stopped taking pictures. Oh, why? The house burned down. <laughs> Isn't that a shame? Yes. But he got married after that. Mm -hmm. uh, Rob. Let's go ask about the projector before we forget about it, shall yes, we? Yes. Hi there, this is Rex Marshall speaking for the Reynolds Metals Company. And this is a model of a new kind of barn. It's called a pole barn, and we made it as sort of a cutaway here so that you can see how it's constructed. It's made of Reynolds aluminum roofing and siding and sturdy pressure-treated wooden poles, which last three to five times longer than untreated lumber. 
Now, I suppose that this pole barn doesn't look nearly as romantic to you and me as the traditional big red barn that decorates the calendars like this. But believe me, it sure looks a whole lot more practical to the farmer who has to pay for it. Because you see, today, a barn like this would cost about $10,000 and take a month or more to build. But on the other hand, one of these new Reynolds aluminum pole barns costs less than half as much, and it can be put up in a matter of a few days. And besides all that, farm experts also say that it's a much better barn. Because aluminum reflects radiant heat, it keeps livestock cooler and more productive. And also, because aluminum will never rust or decay, this barn never needs to be painted. Well, now Reynolds has many other pole-type farm building plans, all of them designed to increase farm profits. If you'd like more information about them, just write to Reynolds Farm Institute, Louisville, Kentucky. <laughs> Let's see if we can't try to conduct ourselves in the fashion of human beings instead of wild animals. It wouldn't surprise me at all if I saw a couple of lions fighting over a movie screen, or uh, even a couple of nine-banded armadillos. They're certainly not two civilized human beings. He's a nine-handed camarillo. Nine-banded armadillo. You say that Mr. Peeper says you were. No, 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 I didn't say he You was told me to Peeper. carry this. Yeah, I asked you both to carry it, boys, and thank you. Thank you, boys. You fellows are going to have to learn to develop the spirit of teamwork. Do you suppose one man built the Empire State Building? Or Boulder Dam, or the San Francisco uh, Bridge? Or that uh, adjustable pigeon identification leg band? Certainly <laughs> not. Those things take teamwork. The, uh, the Boulder Dam is a beautiful example of teamwork. It holds millions and millions of gallons of water and it generates billions of kilowatts of electrical energy. And it uh, irrigates the farms and lights the homes of thousands upon thousands of people. It started when uh, a fellow stood on the shore of a river and said, let's put it here. And then the teamwork started. Plans had to be drawn up and uh, ditches had to be dug, concrete had to be poured, lunches had to be packed. Oh, yes, the housewives are part of the Boulder Dam team, too. Now, do you suppose all that could have happened if, if men had been pulling against each other? I guess not. Well, certainly not. Now, that's what you boys are going to have to learn. A little bit of pulling together. Now, you go on outside and see if you can't make friends, hmm? Good fellows. That's the way. I got him. I got him, I got him, I got him. I got the film. Aha. Uh -huh. And I got the screen and protector, too. Oh. Isn't this a banner day for us? Oh, I'm dying to see these. They've got to be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I certainly hope they are. I've never seen anybody so enthusiastic. Uh, they're great. They're great. You saw Gone with the Wind, didn't you? Yes. And you must have seen Ben-Hur. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh. What a pity, I've seen them both. <laughs> well, I borrowed a little from the technique of both of them. Ah. You're familiar with the sweep, the movement of Gone with the Wind? Yes. And the brilliant composition and sustained action of Ben-Hur. Mm -hmm. You see, when I took those films, I made my camera a person. When you look at those pictures, It'll be just the same as if they're being seen by a person. I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> Let's say that you're uh, uh, walking down the street. Mm -hmm. I put my camera to my eye and follow you down the street just as if I were looking at you. You see what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm dying to see them. 
Why don't we set up the screen and projector and run them real quick, huh? Well, uh, I'd like to very much, but I have a class here now. Oh. Well, why don't I borrow the screen and projector and run them in the washroom? Well, I understand there's some kind of rule against running 16 millimeter films in the washroom here. <laughs> well, why don't we run them real quick? Just real quick. Well, uh, I'd like to, but I have a class here, Wes. Oh, well, oh, come on, Rob. I've been waiting weeks for these. We'll just take a real little peek, shall we? Look, uh, Wes, I'm just as anxious as you are to see them, but oh. I have a class Two coming minutes, in. for Pete's sake. we can say. see them tonight. Oh, be a pal, Rob, oh, will you? Please, Wes. Oh, I, Rob, well, I please. Just, thank you, Mr. Westcott. Hmm? Thank you very much. Why, thank you, Mr. Peepers. This has been a very challenging discussion, I think. Yes, it has some of the, that's those elements for me. I certainly thought so. Well, I believe I've got to be running along, Mr. Peepers. Well, thank you for stopping by, Mr. Westcott, and stop by again. Well, I should be delighted to, Mr. Peepers. What are these? Films? I'll take them. <laughs> You've seen them tonight, Mr. Westcott. Good day, class. <laughs> Well, we'll get back to Mr. Peepers to see uh, Mr. Westcott's super sensational colossal, <laughs> colossal film production in just a moment. But uh, before we do, I'd like to quickly change the subject to the extent of showing you a relatively new and enormously popular type of fence. This is an aluminum chain link fence. It's strong, light in weight, never has to be painted because it won't rust ever. So it's no wonder that American homes and American industry are using more and more of these aluminum chain link fences made by leading fence manufacturers using Reynolds aluminum. And you know, Reynolds also supplies a lot of aluminum to the makers of ranch and farm gates like this. But would you believe it that this 10-foot gate weighs only 30-odd pounds, less than half as much as conventional gates of the same size made of wood or steel. And no another thing, it won't rust or warp or splinter ever. Down in Texas, there's a ranch that uses more than 3,000 of these gates. They cost less and they last longer because they're made of the strong, lightweight, rust-proof metal that does more jobs better, Reynolds Aluminum. Honey? Yes? Now, I thought I'd put the projector right here. Good? Good. Honey? Now, it was my idea to put the screen right here opposite it. Good? Good. Honey? Yes? Don't come in here now. <laughs> Darling, what time is the ice cream supposed to get here? Oh, well, I asked them to deliver it at 9 o'clock. That's the door. I'll get it. Mrs. Gurney, come in. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Now, did I frighten you? <laughs> but, you know, I didn't know if your films were 3D or not. You know, so I... Oh, yeah. Mrs. Gurney, you couldn't frighten anybody if your life depended on it. You have oh. too much je ne sais quoi. Oh, my goodness. I've got to go back on my diet again. <laughs> I, I, uh, Mrs. Gurney, we love you just as you are. Oh, <laughs> oh bless you. <laughs> Load your balcony seat, madame. Oh, uh, no, the um, mezzanine. <laughs> Two can play at that game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, 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 where is everybody? Oh, am I the first? Yes. Oh, dear, I'm so sorry. Now, am I too early? No, no harm. Well, it's a habit of mine, you know. <laughs> I always get to the movies early before the prices change. <laughs> oh, yes. Where? Uh, Greta Garbo. Hi, Mrs. Gurney. <laughs> nice try, Mrs. Gurney. <laughs> well, I wonder where Rob is. I want to see my films. Oh, now, 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 patience, patience. Uh, that uh, virtuous, um, uh, 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 he'll be here. <laughs> How oh, are you, darling, dear? Hello. What a beautiful dress. Oh, you think so? <laughs> Oh, yes. Well, no one can tell me what to wear to um, a world premiere. <laughs> you see, I, I have sort of a, a knack. Uh, je ne sais quoi. A de no, no, it's just a simple little um, silk affair. <laughs> That's the door. I'll get it. Mm -hmm. Hi, Nan. Hi, Hi. 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 Well, look who's here. Yes. Uh, Greta Garbo. <laughs> 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 All set? Come on, let's go. Let's get started, 
Shall we? Ready? Yeah. Well, it'll take you just a minute to put yeah. these up. Well, I'll help you with the screen then. Well, I better put it up because I signed out for it, all right? Okay. Now, I'll tell you what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to put the projector right here and the screen yeah. here opposite it. Uh -huh. And can we hurry? Can we hurry? Yeah. Oh, Nan, you're going to love these. They're just great. Oh, I'll bet they are. <laughs> I've got an idea this is going to take hours, so why don't you come on in the bedroom and I'll show you some new things I got when I was in Chicago, oh, okay? Hello. Come on. Yes. Oh, you coming, uh, Mr. Gurney? Uh, well, uh, just a minute. All just right. a minute. <laughs> Bob, can I, can I put up the screen, please? All right, but be very careful. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> oh, I love wheels. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Uh, when I was young, I had a pony. <laughs> well, look here. I'll just go in and see about Chicago. I, I, I mean, uh, a mart of things. Now, I'll give you a hand here, Rom. No, I've got it. Uh, just sit down with mm -hmm. It'll be all right. I'll give you a hand here. Uh, don't you have some window shades to pull down or some, uh, the ice cream to get? No, the ice cream's coming at 9 o'clock. Now, I'll tell you what you do here. Well, that down, goes down, through, down, that please. goes through. Yeah, yeah. Hold well, on. you're doing a darn good job. Okay. okay. Girls! <laughs> Curtain time! Curtain time! Okay. Okay. okay, the lights. Everybody ready? Ready. Oh. 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 Oh, that's lovely. Isn't it nice to wait till you see the pictures? Oh. Oh, look, look. Look, look, look here. It's a rabbit. Oh, oh that's wonderful. <laughs> Professional, you know. I don't know. <laughs> now, here come the pictures. All right, all right. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Here are the pictures. Here are the pictures. Oh. 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 Uh -huh. Who's that? Well, it's Marge and Maeve. I had a stranger take our picture, and she was obviously an amateur. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, wait. The next pictures will be some I made, and then you'll see. They'll be good. Oh. oh. Here, here, now, now, now. Uh, wait a minute, I, I don't feel very well. Uh. <laughs> what do you mean? I can't even tell what they are, that's all. I can oh. answer you in one word, my dear. Technique. Rob? Oh, yeah, movies are better than ever. <laughs> oh, oh, listen, please don't show this one, please. Oh, that I just look no. terrible. Oh, oh, you're oh, 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 <laughs> Stop the machine, stop, stop. Now, I'll tell you how I made this. Yeah. Marge was standing by the hedge, putting some cream on her face, and I sneaked up behind her when she wasn't looking and took her picture. Oh, I thought it was something like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is that technique I was telling you about, the camera as an eye. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Is oh. oh. she waving again? <laughs> yes. There she is. <laughs> Who's that? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't did you take this one? Oh, I didn't take them, dude, didn't you? No, I didn't take it. Isn't that funny? What's that? Damp grass. Oh, yeah, Those are my shoes. This is a dog we met on our vacation. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. Now, the next shot is of me petting the dog. Uh -huh. There. Oh, yeah, well, where are you? Stop the machine! Stop! Now, I'll tell you how I made this. Marge wasn't here to take the shot for me, you see. Uh -huh. So I held the camera up here, and I petted the dog like this. You understand? Oh, that's clever. Yeah. <laughs> now, in the next shot you're going to see, the next one is absolutely dynamite. Uh -huh. I borrowed the idea from that old aviation classic, Wings. Roll them. There. What is it? It's a plane. Where? There, there. I don't see it. I don't see it. Stop the machine. Stop the machine. Come here. Uh, I, don't, uh, I don't see anything. 
Well, it's on your back, Mrs. Gurney. Plenty more. Show's not over yet. Oh, Roll them, old timer. You see it? Oh, yeah. You see it? I see it. You see it? Uh, Swing behind the tree. That's right. <laughs> I guess I don't have to tell you who this is. Well, whoever it is, he's bald. <laughs> oh, 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 that's good. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. <laughs> Pretty impressive, huh? Oh, yes. <laughs> Delinquents. I wish he'd get out of there. Here. Oh, oh no, that old oh, no. where did oh, you get the camera? Ron? Huh? Technique, huh? Check. The door. Oh, oh. Good. <laughs> I love a minuet. <laughs> oh, now, what's that? Oh, dog, John, I must have left the camera down on the picnic blanket with the machine running. Oh, I wasted all that film. Oh. Well, it's not all wasted wet. You got a pretty good picture of the curly everlasting there. Isn't that what that is? You said I couldn't make movies? Mm -hmm. Not yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, look at the dog. Oh, yeah. toss it all there. Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. Uh, excuse me, but uh, I'll tell you what you did wrong there. Uh, see, you were too close to the subject. If you had opened up your lens more and stood back farther from the subject and then Synchronized your body movement, your camera movements with the movement of the subject has been perfect there. She moves. So shall I, I roll them? On my cue. Right. Roll them. Oh, oh damn cross. Okay. Watch, watch, watch. This is an imitation of George Sanders. What do you do with old bones? Bury them. <laughs> now watch, this is better. Watch this. Watch, watch. Well, who is it? Charles Lawton. That's good. I don't know him. Marge took this. Honey, I did not. Well, I didn't take it. Stop the film. Stop, stop. Stop the machine. Now, this is a character study. There was this wonderful local character. He sat in the uh, railroad station all the time. Wonderful. I made a character study of him. Well, he sat there every day. I wonder what happened to him. Maybe he caught the pain. <laughs> In this beautiful country, <laughs> I made this shot from the car, window of the car, while driving. Well, you know, I, I, I really am not very well. I, I, well, I know what this is. I know what this is. You're going to see a beautiful waterfall as soon as we hit the meadow. Here's the meadow. Now, I panned across the meadow. This is what you call a pan shot, and you're going to see the waterfall. It's on the other side of the meadow. It's a really a magnificent waterfall. Now, in a minute, we'll come to some more trees, and then we'll go up the trees, and then you'll see the waterfall. It's just on the other side of the trees. Now, here's the big tree. Now, we're going to go up, 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 and then you'll see the waterfall. It's well, what happened to the waterfall? Well, I know I took pictures of a waterfall. Honey, what did you do with the waterfall? Well, I guess you just ran out of film, dear. Oh. Yes, it's the all out film here, Wes. Ah. Well, oh, <laughs> Like it? <laughs> well, I'll, I'll let you in on a secret then. Yes. You will never believe this in a million years. I have never used a movie camera before. Oh, no. <laughs> First time, that's right. It's amazing. Oh, well, uh, le they could have been an awful lot better. Oh, no, no. Yes, they could. Oh, no. 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 Oh, no.
the door. Oh, 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 that must be the ice cream. The ice cream, the ice cream. I'll get it. Okay. Well, yeah. that really, they really works well. Really? You've done it again. Really? Yeah. You the man with the ice cream? <laughs> like a very nice fellow. Mm -hmm. you wanna, should, we, should we have some ice cream now? Hello, I'm Helen Lewis. Before Mr. Peepers returns this evening, I'd like to tell you about the new time-saving, meat-saving way to cook pot roast using Reynolds Wrap, the original pure aluminum foil. The details of the recipe are in this week's installment of Life magazine in this Reynolds Wrap advertisement. You start with a four or five pound pot roast. Brown under your broiler, add vegetables, then wrap airtight in Reynolds Wrap. And wonder of wonders, it bastes itself. You just leave it alone, sealed in Reynolds Wrap in a low oven, 300 degrees, for three hours. It not only bastes itself, it refuses to shrink comes out the tenderest, juiciest pot roast you've ever tasted. So get this September 28th issue of Life, follow the recipe, and treat yourself and your family to self-tending pot roast. And incidentally, better get this too, genuine Reynolds wrap, the original pure aluminum foil. <laughs> temperature dish. Well, it's been another entertaining evening at Shea Westcott, as West calls it here. I'm going to get some home movies myself someday, as soon as I get enough money saved up to get a, uh, a home. <laughs> Meanwhile, I hope you'll join us again next week when we'll be back with some more adventures of Mr. Peepers. That's me. Good night. <laughs> I almost forgot to tell you to be sure and get the October issue of Cosmopolitan magazine. You can't miss it. There's a real pretty girl here on the cover. But inside, there's a swell article by Richard Gaiman about our own Wally Cox's Mr. Peepers. A lot of cute pictures, stories, anecdotes. I know you'll enjoy it. I'm going to take this one home and read it myself. Be sure and get one, won't you? And be sure and join us again next week to see Wally Cox as Mr. Peepers, brought to you by the Reynolds Metals Company, pioneers of progress through aluminum. Thank <laughs> you.